My name is Ian Kirkpatrick. I'm a producer, songwriter, and we're in Los Angeles in my home studio. Some of the current projects that I'm working on right now, uh, Selena Gomez, some Dua Lipa stuff, uh, a song with the Chainsmokers, a couple songs with David Guetta. Probably the songs that I'm most known for most recently is New Rules by Dua Lipa, which I produced in Cubase. Uh, Want to Want Me by Jason Derulo. Um, I've worked with Justin Bieber, Britney Spears, Nick Jonas. I started with Cubase 4 on a Pentium way back in the day. Um, it was lightning fast for a relatively slow computer. It was one of the only DAWs that still at that time could work as fast as I wanted to. Having come from a lot of IDM music, like the Aphex Twin stuff, I stumbled around a lot of DAWs for a while looking for one where I could do the things that I was hearing and also the things that I was imagining. So after, you know, going between five or six, I ended up with Cubase because it was the only DAW that I could use where I could move as fast as I was thinking and also just how fast I could edit audio, how fast I could stretch samples, how fast I could find samples was the reason I, I've stuck with it now for 10 plus years. I'm not really much of a big fancy studio guy. Like I started in the box and I, you know, if I needed more, I would, I would get it. But at the moment I don't. Um, so basically I'm running Cubase 10 on a Mac Pro. I got the Barefoots. They're my fave. I got the new AXR4 as an interface. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I keep things pretty simple. I'd usually just have a MIDI keyboard and not much else because you know, I, I found over the years, like the more gear I've acquired, the less I need really. And I, I, I had to actually acquire some, a lot of stuff and be like, oh, maybe I could use all this outboard stuff and for, for what I do now. And it's more focused on songwriting and, you know, all of my favorite production tricks and stuff are things I do in Cubase. So I don't need much on the outside. And I think visually, I like to keep things simple because in here, it's complete chaos sometimes. So the le the more simple it is on the outside, the easier it is for me to have, you know, a clear thought process. So I'm very, you know, in the box kind of kind of person. This keyboard, you can tell how long I've had it by how off white it is. Many a song have been played on this keyboard. <laughs> I mean, I I've done the last six seven years of my career. Every song has been done in this setup just a MIDI keyboard and Cubase, that's it. I mean, I don't really don't need anything else. A few years ago, I had a song with Jason Drula called Want to Want Me. And in the chorus of that song, there's these humongous stabs of sound, of guitar blended with synth, blended with, it's, it's literally seven tracks that just come together to this one, like these big stabs that all happen in unison. And a lot of the sound of that, I mean, uh, uh, first of all, in Cubase, the editing and the chopping is, is I'm obviously a huge fan, you know, coming from like Square Pusher and, and the Aphex Twin, the way they would chop up everything into little bits and stuff. Like I'm bringing that into pop music is, was kind of a fun experiment. And in like Want to Want Me, for instance, those chops are, you know, if you look at the session, like it's all lined up perfectly. And a lot of the, uh, there were acoustic guitar stabs in there too. And I would, I would track the, I would just track a, like a bant and then I would go, and with the real time uh, time stretch stuff, I would drag out the note. I would like extend the acoustic guitar note. And to the point where I would get these artifacts, like Cubase was trying to make sense of me stretching out this note and the artifacts and all the like, the, the, like the sustain of the guitar note changed. And I, then I would blend that in with like regular guitars and synths and stuff. So it's, it's cool because you know, the, having the precision ability to like cut stuff and also using all the time stretch stuff made those stabs sound unique and also like one unit. It's it's awesome and it's so fast and you know easy to to do it with with Cubase. But it's funny that uh, a lot of those time stretch things we just talked about went into that hook. And so there's another song I produced called New Rules for Dua Lipa and. Going into that, in the drop of the chorus of that song, there's a chop that's made up of a loop that I don't think I would have been able to do without 
Cubase's functionality, like the way the slip function allows me to look inside a loop, like it's like a window and you search in the sample in this small window of time and I can real time transpose uh, these little bits and in that fill, I transposed a few to make it sound like it was going up and down, like all very fast and all in real time. And because of how easy it is to cut up audio and transpose little bits of, of loops and stuff like that is how that fill happened. And it's, you know, I heard it in my head and I did it like that because it's just that fast. So I think the functionality of Cubase was a big part of why the production in that song sounds the way it does. This is my normal starting point template and Media Bay takes a large part of the screen, obviously. It, it's usually my the first thing I go to. And I spend, I mean, a good amount of my time in Cubase on, on the Media Bay. And the, uh, it, you know, I don't know how anyone works without something like Media Bay. For me, it's the only way to, you know, over the years you, you accumulate samples and now with, you know, services like Splice and stuff, it's just, there's an endless supply of sounds and you can, easily get lost in your libraries. And at this point I have, you know, 300 plus gigs of stuff. And if I want to search for a percussion loop in 300 gigabytes of stuff, yeah, you know, without something like Media Bay, there's just, Media Bay does it so fast and will show me, you know, my loops that I've rated that I like. And, you know, I can search in a certain, I only want to hear percussion loops that, you know, from Splice or from, you know, my task cam recording, so I can just select a folder and it's instant results. So, and if it's a loop and I'm, you know, listening to my track, I can play it back and it'll play every single loop. It'll adjust the BPM and play it real time as I'm going through. So I'm searching and like, I'll find random things that I didn't even think about, that I didn't even know to search for, or, you know, didn't assume would work well with the song. And because it's playing in time with the song, now I have this fresh sound that I didn't otherwise would have, you know, chosen. So. It's, you know, and, and even something as small as, you know, there's a button that shuffles the results. Like, I'll find samples I didn't know I had, and it's all just instant. Like, in 300 gigabytes of stuff, I'll literally just shuffle and find some crazy, you know, percussion loop I haven't used in five years that I had in some directory I didn't even know existed. And, you know, it's part of my song now. It's essent I mean, eBay is essential for my creative, for the starting point, and also, you know, when I'm in sessions, you know, when, I mean, when I'm in sessions and I'm working with writers, a lot of the time you, you have a loop going on and on, and, and I can search through and build tracks while people are writing to the track. It's, it's like very, it's great. It's great for, I mean, it just feels like infinite possibilities, and it's so fun and exciting to, <laughs> to like know that I could land on something random that's magic, you know? I love that. I can't imagine, I can't imagine m my musical life, I can't imagine, it sounds a little dramatic, okay? But I seriously, and this is the truth, I cannot imagine my life without Media Bay because it's the only way to responsibly have huge libraries and be able to find whatever you want quickly. If you can't, work as fast as your ideas come to you, you're selling yourself short. Because, they're, 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 cause I, you know, you, say if, even if you're really caffeinated or if, you know, the vibe is just there in the room at that moment and all the ideas are coming, if you can't properly execute that at the rate at which you're coming up with it, there's no, you're, you're not using the right DAW, you know? You, the, this is another reason that I've stuck with Cubase you know, for 10 years now, it's because of how fast I can work in it. So, and, and, and the features and what I can do with it. So I feel sorry for, you know, producers that don't have something like Media Bay to, you know, access their libraries and stuff. Cause I, I just don't, I don't know how I would create without it.